that reaches across the entire solar system and even jeopardizes human space travel. Its source lies at the very heart of our star. The hottest place in the solar system rages 400,000 miles beneath the sun's outer layer, the sun's core. It pushes energy up to the surface, but it doesn't stop there. The force of this flow also ejects four million tons of solar plasma into space every second. This creates a gigantic streaming cloud of corrosive exhaust gas. It burns at a million degrees, 200 times hotter than the sun's surface. This is the solar wind. Our planet's magnetic field forms a natural shield. It deflects the solar wind and creates the light shows we call aurorae. We're safe on Earth, but as soon as we move away, we're totally exposed. I think it's actually the biggest obstacle we have for exploring our universe. It's like being in a nuclear reactor. So we need to protect people when they go out into deep space where they can get radiated. NASA Langley, a team of scientists race to launch a new generation of American astronauts into deep space. Engineer Jeff Serro investigates how to protect them from the sun's radiation. The dark side of the sun from the sense of uh, living in it as an astronaut is the fact that it throws off these solar particles that actually come through space station walls and pass through astronauts and cause long-term bodily damage. So the work that we're trying to do here is to shield the astronauts from radiation. It's like wearing a coat against the bad weather. But the solar wind is nothing like the Earth's weather. Highly charged particles hurtle through space at a million miles an hour. Since the sun first ignited, the solar wind has shaped the solar system. This is Mars, four billion years ago. Water covers its surface until the solar wind rips off the atmosphere and bakes the planet. Whenever humans venture into space, we cannot escape the fallout from our star. <laughs>